Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 18th. Now, keep in mind that not every reading is for you, and the timing is fluid, so keep that in mind. What do we have for around the 18th? Ten of Swords reversed. So the Ten of Swords reversed is a near-death experience. The worst has happened. It could be a death. It could be something coming back from the dead. Let's see what we got here. It's also a card of liberation, freedom. Nine of Wands reversed. Hmm. This is extremely overwhelmed. I feel like we have somebody here who has been hurting. Obviously, they've been hurting quite a bit, struggling. It's time for some sort of closure with the nine and the ten. We need we need some sort of closure here. There's been a lot of suffering. There's been a lot of pain, wounds. It feels like open wounds. It's like closing the wounds. There's a need to close the wounds, something like that. Nine of wands reversed. Hmm. There could be some hard feelings. There is hard feelings. over some sort of betrayal, something that hurt really, really, really bad. King of Swords reversed. So we have cold, cold, withdrawn, uh, non-communicative, not, can't communicate, not communicating, no new perspective, um, We have somebody here that has been hurt very, very badly, or they're in some sort of pain, but it feels like they're giving it up. The pain is going to be dissipating by the looks of things. I do think it is. Um, King of Swords reversed. Cold, abusive, no more communication. There could be a cut in communication. Communication could be coming to an end or... Hmm, no more communication. It's This is the end of something. It's the end of trying. There's nothing left. I feel like there's some sort of unfair treatment here. There could even be some anger. This could be the straw that breaks the camel's back. There could be some nasty words that are said out of anger. There is some hard feelings here and I feel like I feel like there's some sort of unfair treatment because of previous pain. Ten of Pentacles. And this may have to do with a family situation. Uh, you know, a legacy, a father, a mother, a family. I don't know what's going on, but I think we may have something to do with a father. We have a father here, a father here. I wonder if somebody is ill. And they're giving up. They're giving up a fight. And it doesn't have to be a father. I feel like we have a family situation here that is unfolding.
Eight of Wands reverse. Some there is going to be a cut in communication, or communication is coming to a stop. There's also jealousy issues. There's we may have somebody here that is guilty of something. That maybe they're feeling guilty. There is an abuse of power here, though, with the King of Swords reversed. I feel like somebody is abusing their power. They're, they're doing something that is not in integrity. And I feel like they're doing something that is not in, in integrity because of some previous hurt that they have been through. Um, nine of Wands. There's anger. There's anger. There's, there's hard feelings. Hard feelings over uh, not winning something. Or the struggle that has happened. Eight of Wands reverse. That's in the past. I feel like there's been some sort of bad news in the past. Or somebody could be receiving some bad news. I don't feel like it's good news. Okay? Just got to be honest with you. And there's a lack of honesty here with the King of Swords reverse. Somebody's probably... Uh, they could be just be giving a... V this is a challenge. This is a message that hurts. Somebody may be receiving a message that hurts. Um, or they may be receiving no contact, no message, no message at all. Ten of Pentacles is about family, legacy, home, parents, children. There's some hard feelings. I'm, I'm, I'm wondering what is going on here. Tens are completions. So we have, we definitely have a completion here. So, you know, I feel like there's, there's something that is coming to an end. There's been a lot of pain. There's been a lot of hurt. There's been a lot of wounding. There's been some sort of battle. Somebody is probably choosing not to communicate anymore or choosing, you know, uh, not to fight anymore, which is good. Maybe they're just withdrawing, you know. They could be withdrawing, you know, turning cold, you know. Sometimes that happens. I do see withdrawn communication, shutting down communication. There's definitely giving up here. I feel like there's also been some uh, gossip maybe or bitching behind another person's back. I, I, I feel like we have somebody here that has been having a hard time recovering. They may even have some chronic health problems. And, you know, uh, it feels like things could, could come to an end, honestly. Um, Ten of Swords reversed. That's like freedom from a painful situation. So there is freedom here. There is freedom. We have an individual that is giving up a fight. Okay? That's what's... Giving up a fight. I, I give up. I give up. And I think it's a family situation. It has to do with children, parents, uh, legacy. Five of Cups reverse. Beginning to realize that there is a better option. That's the Five of Cups reverse. So somebody is beginning to realize that there's a new prospect. They're starting to see. They, they're starting to see the truth. Okay? Whereas before they were, they were, you know, crying over a loss or they were grieving or something like that. I feel like, I feel like it's over. This is beginning to realize that there's another opportunity that is better that has been missed. This is the end of a sad situation, it, which is a good thing. It is a good thing. Although the King of Swords in reversed, this is... Uh, we may have somebody here that, you know, you, typically the King of Swords is very logical and uses their mind over their heart. In reversed, we could have somebody that is using their heart instead of their mind. That is, is their heart is opening, may have something to do with their heart. Change of heart. And maybe there's a change of heart because of no communication or poor communication or some bad news that comes in and it's the straw that breaks the camel's back. 
That's the Ten of Swords reversed. This is definitely an ending with a 10 coming out as the very first card. This is a completion. Seven of Cups seeing very, very clearly that there is another option. Somebody is going to be seeing something. They're coming out of confusion. They're going to be seeing something very, very, very clearly. There's no more confusion. They're making a choice right now. A choice is being right now, being made right now. And whatever this choice is, it has to do with uh, not going in that direction anymore. I, this is a stop. Okay, somebody could be getting blocked or maybe they've been blocked by illusion, fantasy. The Seven of Cups in the upright is illusion and fantasy. But this is seeing very, very clear of the choice, making a clear choice. Somebody is making a clear choice in regards to their stability with the Ten of Pentacles in regards to their success. Whatever choice it is that they are making, this is a permanent choice. Okay, this is a permanent choice. Permanent choice. Okay? This is beginning to realize, or they are, re they have, because the choice is clear, they have realized that there is a better option. Somebody has realized that. And this better option does lead to stability. Okay, this has to do with a family situation. Somebody, uh, it may even have to, I don't know if it has to do with an, an inheritance or um, family money or home or something like that. Could be even be a family business. A decision is definitely being made and I feel like it's going to, I feel like there's maybe there's hard feelings over the family money or over the inheritance or over the home or over the children or something like that. There's definitely anger and hard feelings and um, I almost feel like somebody has uh, communicated something and uh, the news gets out as to what they've done and it may cause some sort of argument and that is the straw that breaks the camel's back. It brings clarity to the situation. It's like somebody may see a message or they may see a comment or they may see something that changes everything. Eights are changes that changes their perspective because this is about perspective and this one is too. So I do feel like somebody's perspective is being changed about a certain situation. Nine of Wands reverse. That is giving up the fight. Somebody's definitely giving up a, a fight. They are, no, they, are, they are very clear. They've made their choice. They're not going to do this anymore. They're not. They're not going to do this anymore. It's over. It's, it's, it's over. Withdrawing. Somebody is withdrawing. Five of Cups reverse. Realizing that there's a better option. King of Cups following the heart. Well, this is uh, listening to the intuition. Listening to the heart. Uh, somebody that is uh, acting from the heart instead of their mind. Somebody was trying to be logical, they, but they weren't being logical. They weren't listening to their heart, but now they are. Something to do with the heart. Seeing very, very, somebody is going to be making um, a move that is very heartfelt, put it that way. We have somebody here that probably has closed off their heart, but they actually have a really big heart, and now they're going to be following their heart, which I've already said. This may have to do with money, and it could cause a fight. 
which is interesting or family a family member because I see money and I see family reversed we have a very we have an individual here that is looking at a very selfish person the empress reversed is somebody that is forceful selfish um, mean-spirited self-absorbed uh, I don't know if this this probably does have to do with some sort of termination somebody is is terminating probably a relationship with the five of cups with somebody that is not very loving that that is very very selfish and they're doing it because i feel like their intuition is telling them to do so the king of cups is very intuitive maybe their heart is telling them to go in another direction the empress reversed is very mean-spirited and forceful infertile you know the empress reverse does it can't really grow things doesn't doesn't nurture things um, is very needy uh, maybe has some mother issues uh, there's a lack of love there's a lack of abundance here with this person the Empress in reverse does not love unconditionally. She's self-absorbed. So I think we have an individual that is uh, seeing it very, very clearly. There's see, because this is seriously, they're seeing it. They are seeing it very, very clearly that they're dealing with an individual that is uh, cold. This person is cold. Um, Prince of Wands reversed. So that is the Knight of Wands reversed. Sudden decision. Sudden departure. I feel like there's going to be a sudden departure. I feel like we have a woman here, unfortunately. I do think it's a woman. A feminine. That is about to lose something because of her selfishness. Um... Prince of Wands reversed. I do feel like there's te some tears that are going to be shed. I do. Uh, Prince of Wands reversed. The Prince or Knight of Wands. This is somebody that is, um, it feels like they're making a getaway. This person doesn't want responsibility. They're, they're doing something very sudden. But totally without thinking. This is extreme. I feel like we have a sudden departure here. This right here is uh, fast moving energy, extremely fast. I wonder if somebody is leaving extremely, extremely fast. We have a very heartfelt individual that is following their heart. We also could have somebody that doesn't know their value, that doesn't know their worth, that lacks self-confidence and self-esteem, that is receiving an offer of love. I mean, this empress had reversed could be a woman that is suddenly receiving an offer of love. It feels, it feels like this, this woman is in some sort of pain. 
She hasn't delivered the pain. She she's still in pain. So we have a woman that is in pain here. But we have this this King of Cups is like a healer. This is a lover that is looking at this person that is in some sort of pain. They could be coming out of nowhere extremely, extremely, extremely fast. We could have somebody here that is no, it's like they're not thinking about it. They're just following their heart. This is what their heart wants. I'm done thinking about it. I'm following my heart. Somebody is definitely following their heart in a new direction. There's no doubt about it. Somebody is going to be receiving an offer or a message probably that they do not expect. Somebody could be feeling guilty for how they treated another person. Because that's the Eight of Wands reversed. That's feeling guilty. Same with the Five of Cups reversed. You know, I wonder if there's going to be a reunion. And I don't say that lightly. But the Five of Cups reversed could be a reunion. Somebody obviously made a poor choice with the Seven of Cups. And they see very clearly that they made a poor choice. And I think it's a poor choice about a relationship with that Ten of Pentacles underneath. This is a permanent decision that is being made in regards to somebody's making a decision. It's, the decision is being made. It's a permanent decision that has to do with the heart, what the heart wants. The heart wants what the heart wants. So somebody is going to be following their heart, okay? And I feel like they're going after a, maybe they're going after a woman that they hurt because she's in pain. They hurt her. And maybe maybe she was jealous. Maybe she, because the Empress reversed is a jealous person that is self-absorbed, that is forceful, that, you know, uh, is needy. But she's like that because of previous pain. That's why she's like that, right? Ain't nothing that love can't heal, right? I mean, love, that's, this is a healer. So anyhow, um, there is an opportunity for love here with that five of cups reversed. And there is an offer that is coming in for this person. And this person, and if it's not, if it's not an offer, it's just an expression. It's an expression of love. Could even be an apology. You know, so it could be a husband and wife that have been fighting because there's fighting up here and there's an apology. There could also be a reunion. There could be. And I don't say that lightly. I feel like... Uh, there's definitely been some sort of... Maybe there's been some painful words that have been said. And somebody feels guilty and they apologize. Anyhow, I do believe that things are about to change. Somebody's about to re receive a, you know, a heartfelt Somebody's going to be following their heart, put it that way. This person is looking for love, they're looking for romance, and they're going to be expressing their feelings towards this woman who is in pain. Good luck.